Hi, from the XSLT introduction and the XSLT quick start guide presentations, you have learned how XSLT can be used to transform a XML document into a different formatted XML document or to a HTML document. From this hands-on, you will learn how to use XSL transformation classes available in the Java API for XML parsing. For this, we'll use our order.xml file, which has four items within the root element called order. And we have a extensible style sheet for this order.xml, which when applied will transform our XML to HTML. To use this XSL style sheet in our Java program, we rely on the transformer factory classes that are available within the Java API for XML parsing, the JAXP API. In our Java class, we create, we start by creating an instance of the transformer factory class by invoking the new instance method. And once we have the instance of the factory class, we create a transformer instance by invoking the new transformer. And the input parameter for this new transformer method is the XSL stream which is a stream source instance which holds the order.xml file uh, sorry order.xsl file which is our style sheet so we create a transformer from the transformer factory by passing it the holder to our order.xsl the stream source is nothing but a wrapper of input streams input output streams so the stream source internally uses the input output input stream to read the order xsl and when we invoke the transform method on the transformer, we pass in another stream source which points to our order.xml file. Again, a stream source uses the input stream to read our XML file. And the second parameter is a stream result which tells the transformer where the resulting HTML or XML should go to. In this case, we are telling the transformer that it should write the resulting HTML to system out, the console. To see this in action, the shortcut for running a Java program within Eclipse is Alt-Shift-X-J. When we run this program, the transformer reads our XML file, applies the order.xsl style sheet to it, and it generates or transforms the XML to HTML as you can see here. To summarize, the XSL transform transformer classes in the JAXP API can be used to apply an existing style sheet to the XML to transform it into either HTML or XML, another format of XML. So we used the transformer factory class and the transformer classes from the JAXP API and the stream source uses the input stream to read the XML and XSL document and the stream result tells the transformer where the output will be written to or the transformer uses the stream result class to write the output to either a file or a console uh, uh, or a network or even a network. It's that easy to transform or to apply XSLT within Java. Until the next presentation, take care, keep sharing and learning. Thanks for watching.